Welcome back to Techspertise TV. Today I'm going to teach all of you how to find someone's IP address and track them down through the internet. So let's get into it. Alright, so here I have uh, some folders where I have uh, shortcuts and links to websites where you could do that. So let's open it up. Down here I have my URL trackers. I use uh, Blase and also use Grabify. Basically what those do is they open up uh, they create a link with a tracking ID in the URL and you can send that to someone and it allows you to view the IP address and then using an IP tracker you could actually find out where exactly they live so let's do that right now I usually use IP tracker and I use info sniper and this right here but today we're just gonna be using we're just gonna be using IP tracker and info sniper. The reason why you use two because one might miss one, the other might not. I usually trust this one more, but I use other ones uh, as a check or check some for it. So let's do that. So now we need to go to the browser and we need to get some to send them. So what you could do is social engineer them. Uh, you bring up a topic to talk about and let's say oh you know today uh, Beyonce had a song and she messed up on it and she fell on stage so you could look up you know Beyonce falls I guess that's Beyonce. Then you take the URL, copy it, and then you put it inside one of these trackers. I usually put it inside of Blase first. Paste it, submit it. Internet's taking a little slow. Then down here you have your access code. So if you ever come back to the website, you can just paste in this code and it'll bring you back to the same page of the link and IP addresses who clicked on that link. And it'll uh, show you when you create it, what is the original link. This is a link where Beyonce's picture is and this is the link you give them. But of course no one's gonna click on blase.tk. Never heard of that. So take that, copy it, go to Grabify. Now you could do all of this just in Grabify or any other website, but I don't like to use their uh, link they create either. And I don't like to use their Google link because they tend to expire and they mark it as a new feature, but it doesn't always work. So what you do is, and it, this works the same way, the access link, you come back here, or you could do the tracking code, which is the same thing. So you take the new link, copy that, then you go to uh, what I would do is I typically go to Google shortener do it yourself paste the link right here then you got to verify that you're you know not a robot or what so select all the squares or streaks and links Then it says which vehicles in it. Until they're not. So I call the squares of vehicles if they're not. Then the street signs. Or the URL it'll give you a preview so this is how you know it works right here it just shows just a picture and that's actually what Google sees so take that you copy it and then you will then send this to the person you want and then when they do let's say you open it up let's say now you have this link you send it to them they go in their browser or you send it to them in a text or app and they paste it all they will see if you look right here 
is it goes straight to the picture. Um, they didn't see anything happen with the link. So let's do that again so you can see. It is not going to say Blase, it's not going to say Grabify or nothing like that. It's just going to say Google and then it's going to say the link of the picture. Watch right here. Oh, that's all it does. But what's really happening is if you go here, see there's nothing yet. But if you refresh it on there and then on here, you refresh it. You see the person's IP address. These are it right here. They sometimes add on stuff and it tells you, you know, what browser, Chrome, that's what I'm using right here. Um, they Google searched it. Let's go over here to Gravify. It tells you there, it tells you what their ISP is. I'm using the hotspot for my phone right now. And it, and if they uh, was using like a house uh, internet, they'll tell you their ISP, no matter it be Xfinity or anything like that. Then you'll take their IP address, copy it, then you open it up here, paste it, go down. You know, this, this also tells you their ISP as well. I'm using my T-Mobile uh, right here. It tells you their area code, near where they live, so forth, so forth. And then just to make sure that that is right up there, you go here. I will just leave it just using my actual IP address. Paste it. And it tells you the same thing, at least where it is. It's, I don't believe this site actually tells you more than that. Actually, yeah, it does. So it tells you the same thing that the rest of them tells you right in here. And that's about how you do it. So like, subscribe, share with your friends. Don't use this for anything bad and uh, stay tuned for next. I'm gonna show you how to actually prevent this happening from to you yourself in the next video. Thank you.